Hello, this is Dr. Jeetan Bendor for Physician Perspectives. I'd like to introduce you all to fatty muscle or myosteotosis. Skeletal muscle and bone share common embryological origins. Now, muscle and bone are both mechanoresponsive tissues and the mass and strength of both tissues decline with age. What we also know is that the decline in muscle and bone strength that occurs with aging is accompanied in both cases by an accumulation of adipose tissue or fat. The factors leading to accumulation of intra and intermuscular fat or myosteatosis are less well understood. But recent evidence indicates that increases in intramuscular fat are associated with disuse, altered leptin signaling, sex steroid deficiency and glucocorticoid treatment. Factors that are also implicated in bone marrow adipogenesis. Accumulation of adipocytes in skeletal muscle and accumulation of intramyocellular lipid or fat are linked to loss of muscle strength, reduced insulin sensitivity and increased mortality among the elderly. But this fat deposition happens in the young as well. The conditions favoring the accumulation of fat in muscle and bone are aging, glucocorticoid treatment, uploading or disuse of muscle, sex steroid deficiency or leptin deficiency. Now what's important to understand is that this fat accumulation in muscle is a serious challenge that is as bad as fatty infiltration of the liver. The grand plan of looking into myosteatosis is to look into therapeutic strategies to prevent this fatty infiltration of muscle and this can improve muscle function and reduce fall risk in the elderly potentially impacting the incidence of bone fracture and quality of life in the elderly as well as probably the young who have myosteatosis.